Hi guys, my name is Megan from the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I want to show you how to use a Nalakai ring sling. This was gifted to me and this is actually a collaboration with Nalakai and I am absolutely in love with this sling. I wouldn't recommend to you guys a product that I didn't love myself. This is by far my favorite sling that I've ever used. I have several different kinds, several different materials. This is just so soft and it just moves through the rings so easily. It's just definitely my favorite. So I just wanted to share a quick little tutorial on how to use this and all the safety checks. So hopefully when you get your new ring sling in the mail, you can master this really easily and start wearing your baby all the time. My son, who is sitting right there, you can probably see him right there, he's sitting on the couch. He is a little over six months now and for his entire life he has taken pretty much all of his naps on me in some sort of a baby carrier. And I am a huge fan of slings and he actually seems to like them more than other carriers too. So we both love the slings. He only just now that he's a little over six months is starting to be old enough that he likes to take naps by himself which is just really sad for me but he still does ride and sling quite a bit. I have a baby ring playlist that I will link down below. I have a ton of videos in there how to do the ring slings on the front. I do front carries, I'll show hip carries, I'll show back carries different ways to use stretchy wraps or woven wraps or more of the strap type carriers. So definitely go check out that playlist if you want to learn how to use any other baby carriers. So let's get right into this tutorial. Now I'm trying ring slings to have a pocket, which I love that they have a pocket. I'll usually put his pacifier in there, and if we're out and about, I'll put my phone and my keys in there. It is just ridiculously handy, so I love that. And I like to get the pocket so that it's facing out, so it's easier to get to. So to do that, you're going to actually face it towards you to start out with. I'm just going to put the rings over my shoulders, and the pocket is facing towards my back. I get it cupped over my shoulder just like this, and I like to start out with it at this height. And then I'm going to grab the top rail and gather up the fabric. And I usually do this in front of a mirror so I can see that it's not twisted in my back. You want to make sure that the top rail that comes from here is the top rail that you're grabbing over here. So you don't want to accidentally grab the bottom rail and it be twisted in the back like that. It's going to make it a lot more uncomfortable for you while you're wearing it. So I'm just going to gather up all this fabric and I'm going to feed it through both of the rings. Just like this. And then I'm going to open up the rings and put it through the bottom ring. So now it's threaded through the rings and now this next step is very important. You're going to want to make sure all of these folds are very even. This is just super important. So I pull it all up and I put my thumbs in it and I'm just going to find one edge. Start with, start with this edge and I'm going to make sure that it's laying nice and flat. So just like this I can find the edge and then I'm going to start with that edge and kind of feed the fabric across from one thumb to the other and make sure that I'm doing it in even bunches when I get it to the other thumb. Get to the other end and I find this edge I make sure it's nice and flat and then I'm going to carefully pull it all through just like that. So now it's in nice and even bunches and that makes it just really easy to pull it through and get your baby adjusted and there is nothing more annoying than when you get your baby in there and there's folds and just not right in the rings and it's just not even in the rings and you can't pull you can't pull it properly it's just really difficult to pull and if you try to pull the top rail it might pull some in the middle it's just so that is one thing that I, I spend the most time on is the rings so because you really want to make sure you get those good now i'm going to adjust where the rings sit on my shoulder you want them to end up at corsage level so right about here is good you want them just under your collarbone but i like to start with them higher because as you pull the fabric to adjust it, it's going to pull the rings down a little bit. So I like to start with it higher so I have a little bit of leeway. And then I just, I get this somewhat adjusted. This actually feels pretty good for my six month old, but it's just going to make it to where you have to do a lot less adjusting in the rings if you get this at least relatively to the size of your baby beforehand. So that feels pretty good. You just don't want it to be like way down because that's going to be ridiculous. And <laughs> It's going to make it a lot more likely that all these folds will get messed up if you have to pull a ton of fabric through there. So, this is all on now, and now I'm going to grab Demi. This is Demetrius. 
He had just woke up from his nap and then nursed. So he's a little shocked still. I'm going to put him over the opposite shoulder from he. He loves to look at the camera, so he, he usually really fights me during these videos. It's kind of fun. I'm going to put him up old, over the shoulder that the opposite shoulder where the rings are, kind of like I'm going to burp him. And then I'm just going to support his butt with this hand and then reach through all the fabric with this hand and pull his feet through. Just like that. And then before I even pull it up over his back, I'm just going to have his knees on the fabric like this. So it's kind of pulling his knees up to where I'm going to want them to end up. And this makes it easier for me to get a really deep seat. Once their legs are to the position you want them, I'm going to pull. You can pull this up over their back. Just want to make sure that their knees stay up. Nice and high. Do all your adjusting. Tighten this top a little bit. One thing I wanted to mention about when you pull to tighten, you want to pull along the fabric. So if you're pulling the top, you pull it this way. If you pull the bottom, you pull it this way. The middle goes this way. So we're just going to make sure that these bunches don't get messed up. And to get a deep seat, I'm going to reach through here under his leg and pull all this fabric up almost to his belly button. So now he has a really deep seat. You can see how far up his knee is there and that's like really what we're looking for. That's really good. Now he does like to like push his legs out and you just keep adjusting them. Just keep bending their legs and getting them in their deep seat again. <laughs> he is really wiggly now. He really wants to look at the floor. And then the majority of the fabric, if you have extra fabric, you want it to be under their knees. You don't want a big bunch of fabric up here. You want most of it under their butt. You want it to come to their neck, but you want the rest of the bunches to be under their butt and knees so that you just get that really deep seat. And now you can see our pockets on the outside, just where we want it. So because I adjusted this before I put him in, I adjusted it with my arm to make sure it was the right lengths. I hardly had to do any adjusting with Houston. This is feeling really good and really secure. You want to, that top rail could even be a little bit tighter. You want to just make sure that it's tight all the way at the top rail, the middle rail, the bottom rail. You want it to be really secure. If it's all nice and tight, it's just going to be more comfortable on your back and shoulder. They're going to be less likely to fall out. So let's go over a few safety checks. First things first, as I said before, you want their knees in an M position. You want to be able to go from their ankles to their knees to their butt. So you want it to be in an M position. So you really want their knees nice and high. So like, see how high that knee is? That's like really what we're looking for. You want it to be nice and high on both sides. So check both sides. You want. So that's the first thing I look for is that their legs are in an M position. You also want to make sure that they're close enough to kiss. So that's just gonna make sure that they're not falling down too though because they're less likely to suffocate if they're up higher right by you where you can see them and they're not gonna get tangled in the fabric. You wanna make sure that you can see their nose and their mouth at all times. So even if he's sleeping, his head's gonna be kind of like this. So I'll be able to see his nose and mouth. So you just wanna keep those things in mind. And then also once he falls asleep, there's a few things you can do with the tail to kind of support their head. My favorite thing to do is to just pull the fabric around like this and kind of fold it in half like that. And then you kind of take the top rail and you fold this over the top. You fold the top rail over all that fabric just like that. So that makes a nice little cushion for his head so that it doesn't like flop out. The next thing you can do is take all this and kind of twist it up just like this. And then you bring it around and just tuck it in back here. And that gives them a nice support too. I personally like the first wig better. And if he's awake, I leave it out because it's easier to get to the pocket if it's out. And you can leave them just like this if they're sleeping, if, as long as you make sure you just keep standing up. I do a lot of hard work because we live on a homestead, so if I'm gardening, I don't want to really have to keep my hand on his head all the time. I want to be able to like do my canning, do my housework stuff and make sure his head's more secure, so that's why I like to use the tail to kind of support his head more. You also want to make sure that the rings are in corsage position. So you want them right below your collarbone so you can see that the, where this ring goes around the top is just right below my collarbone right here. So this ring, these rings are in just the perfect position. This is feeling really good. You want the fabric cupped over your shoulder. So I like to have it over my shoulder just a little bit and then all the way up to my neck. So that's nice and cupped. So that's gonna make sure my shoulder doesn't get too sore while I'm wearing him in this for a long time. It also doesn't super matter which shoulder you put the rings on, but the, the arm that has the rings is gonna have somewhat limited range of motion because of how the fabric is cupped over your shoulder. 
So because I'm right-handed, I like to leave my right arm out for duet stuff. So I always put the rings on my left shoulder, but either side is perfectly fine. And then to take it out, it's really, really easy. I'm just gonna use this hand and support under their butt. I'm gonna lift them up so it takes the weight off the rings. And that's another thing with pulling the rings, you want to lift their weight off of it because if you have the weight in it and then you try to adjust it, it's gonna make it a lot harder and it's gonna pull the rings down further on your shoulder. So just keep that in mind as well. So I'm gonna lift his weight up and I'm just gonna pull this top ring so I have plenty of slack. I'm gonna pull it down over his shoulders and then I can kind of rest him on my hip while I free that hand and grab under his armpit. Ooh, and there he is. And now he's out, so it's super easy to take him out. So if you guys go check the description box, I will link my big rank playlist as I said below. And I will also link on Nalakai's website where you can buy these. And you can also buy them on Amazon. I am so in love. And I, I've heard so many great things about this brand of sling. If I hadn't been gifted one, I would have bought one anyway, like really, because it is just totally my favorite sling ever. But I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions or specific problems you are having, like maybe your shoulder's getting sore or just something's not really going right, maybe you can't get a really deep seat like this, please leave me some questions down below. And if I have enough questions from people, I might make a troubleshooting video, just kind of troubleshooting a ring sling if you're having problems with certain things. And also, please let me know if you have any other baby wearing requests. But thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.